In the Abuja, the Minister of Interior says 247 facilities of the Nigeria Correctional Service require massive funding if incessant jailbreaks and other challenges must end. Ralph Arigwesha spoke at the Budget Defence with the House Committee on Reformatory Inf Institutions. National Assembly correspondent Jakiadisa reports. The incessant attacks on custodial centres in the last few years have become worrisome to government and the citizens. This budget defense meeting between members of the House Committee on Reformatory Institutions and the Ministry of Interior is to brainstorm on how best to better reposition the service. Committee Chairman Edwin Anayo acknowledges the incremental funding of the correctional service in the life of the Buhari administration, but says more still needs to be done. I can say it here without fear or favor that this administration have really tried in terms of funding correctional services. Not APC man. But Rauf Aregboshela also appreciates the parliamentary support from the Ninth National Assembly. He says the 247 facilities of the service require huge funding to overcome the many challenges facing it. It is the result of the committee that the service requires holistic reforms. Except for the ones we are just building, most of them are very, very old. Actually, more than half of them predated our nation in age. So we are dealing with a situation that requires huge commitment of resources. There is no alternative to reforming our correctional system. The dynamics of this century demands it. Hence, effective cooperation and partnership of both the arms and tears of government is imperative in this regard. It might not be appropriate to expose some of the things we are going to say to the glare of the public. So I want On the minister's uh, request, uh, uh, the budget defense meeting continues behind Madam closed minister. doors to enable all parties talk frankly about the situation at hand. Jesse, TVC News, Abuja.